today I'm going to lead a meditation sitting here by the river and this meditation is on the heart and on connecting with the energy around you opening up to your surroundings opening up to nature and allowing an expansion to take place in your heart allowing this energy that's around you to into your being to flow through you so your eyes can be closed or open and begin tuning in with the, the space field the space around you and listen to the sounds of nature or listen to the sounds of your room the sounds of the city Feel this field around your body. And with the breath, you can consciously draw energy in from the atmosphere. Draw energy in through your third eye. As you breathe in, you can breathe in and swallow in the throat. And it kind of opens this throat space continue to feel the energy flowing in with each breath and feel it come into the heart and it's up to you what you want to open to if you want to open up to self-pity or s sadness or your own doubts frustrations we can always open up to that but today let's open up to sweetness, sweetness, this nectar around the heart. There's a sense of gratitude just for being alive. There's a sense of knowing and being. Feel the love in the heart, feel the energy expand with each breath, each breath comes in and you feel this flow taking place and it's very real, it isn't even something you have to imagine, you can really feel the energy, especially with the breath, the next breath you can hold in the heart for maybe 10-20 seconds, breathe into the heart and hold it. the air and take another breath following through the heart into the belly and hold it there after you inhale. And then as you exhale, feel the energy moving down to the base of the spine, through the sex chakra to the base of the spine. And then as you continue exhaling, feel it flow all the way up. So it's this full circuit from the base of the spine up to the crown of the head. And that's the magic of the practice. That's the magic of this. You're not just feeling energy around you. You're not just feeling the heart. You're feeling this flow and it reaches a completion. It flows through and there's an alchemy that takes place at the base of the spine, the heat. And this energy transforms. It comes up and this lightness comes up to the top of the head. 
and it pools there. It's your energy there. It's a sweet nectar. It generates a sense of a wisdom and openness and knowing. And the holding the breath in the heart chakra, then releasing a little and then holding it in the navel chakra. This is a double breath. And it's an amazing way to break through any blockages. You can break through any inner obstacles and tensions. And you're doing this with consciousness. You're doing this with gentleness. There's no forcefulness here. And just like this river that I'm sitting next to, you feel the river flowing inside, a river of energy. And it connects you with everything. And it connects you to your deepest self. And it's flowing and it's awakening you. So each breath is a moment and a chance to awaken. To feel more alive. To feel more open. To feel love. To feel gratitude. So each breath let it take you deeper into this river. Feel with each chakra. Feel with each energy center. And no matter what the thoughts are doing, no matter what the mind is doing, that really is secondary to feeling this energy. And you'll find as you follow this flow of the breath and this flow of energy, you'll find that you're not so concerned with the thoughts, you're not so bothered by the business of the mind. And you can really be consumed in this process of generating inner, inner, inner energy. So allow your breath, allow the energy to open you inside. You can feel there's a flower, a big lotus flower in the center of the chest. And it's got so much nectar around it. And you're opening this flower and you're drawing in this nectar, drawing it down to the base, to the roots of the flower. And that's opening up further. There's a flower in each energy center, and it's opening, expanding. And emotions like fear, emotions like doubt, anger, jealousy, bitterness, you can feel these come up, and they're just energy. They're a part of you. They're energy it's been locked up, it's been stored, maybe for many years, many lifetimes even. So you can feel gratitude when you feel these negative emotions too. Because you're freeing them, you have an opportunity now to unlock the potential energy that's stored in them. So you feel the negative energy, if you feel sadness, if you feel some of these difficult emotions, stay with it. Breathe into that space, breathe into that knot, and release that tension, release the heaviness, and feel an incredible flow of energy coming through. And there's no limit to the possibilities inside. There's no limit to how much energy you can flow through, how much love that you can feel in this moment, there's no limit to the gratitude that you can feel just for being alive. And if you find yourself during your day getting into heaviness or getting into getting caught in busyness or worries, you can remember to take a moment to open up, to feel this expansion, to feel this flow. And you can use, utilize the tools 
that you have a breath. If it feels especially heavy, take that big breath in your heart. Take your breath and really expand and hold it. As you exhale, feel that energy continue to flow through, to flow down to the base of the spine. And there's a release, there's a lightness that carries it up, up to the crown of the head. And if you've ever felt the crown chakra open, if you've ever felt the rush of energy coming up your spine, it feels incredible. And it feels so real, and it makes you feel alive. And you realize that this body itself is an amazing tool. It's an amazing tool for awakening consciousness. It's an amazing tool for reaching enlightenment, for reaching wisdom, and for giving love, for serving, for making the world better. This is a great tool. And we can feel so much gratitude for it. We can feel so much connection with life through this. And I try to never take it for granted because when you get in those thoughts of worrying about the past or the future or worrying so much or being hard on ourselves, it's really going into an illusory state because you're getting away from the basic reality which says, this is a miracle. This is a miracle to be alive. This is a miracle to be conscious. And I'm not gonna take it for granted. I'm not gonna get caught up in the silliness of the world, or the silliness of my mind. And I know what's possible. I know that this potential is there and I know that I can open up to it any moment. When you do this meditation and you feel these chakras and you feel the energy and you can visualize it, it is a beautiful and perfect system of energy. And the spinal cord is so charged with energy. And the breath and the prana of life that comes in, you can feel it restoring yourself, restoring your nerves, relaxing you. It's a conscious, perfect process. And all you have to do is relax and let go. Love yourself. Love the world. And that's when a process they call healing takes place, or awakening takes place. It takes place through love and patience, understanding. And there's nothing else you need to do in this moment. This is your time to expand. This is your time to forgive. This is your time to open inside. The more of an effort that you make in your practice sessions to open, the more of effort you make to draw energy and to feel the flow, that's the greater the reward that you will receive. Because it's your life it's your energy, and it's your connection to the world. And there's no limit. There's no limit to what's possible. There's no limit to consciousness. We don't even have a real understanding of the potential for consciousness. But we do, thankfully, have an understanding of some practices we can do with our bodies, with our breath in our mind. 
and the rest is a big adventure.